everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Michelle with Just For Sweets. And today I am going to do my version of a coffee bar. Uh, I've been seeing them going all around YouTube and I've had a, a small coffee bar for a long time, but it's on my kitchen counter. Um, one of these days I hope to have like a real one on a bar somewhere, but the way my house is set up, it's a big house, but it's not, there's not really a spot for a coffee bar outside of the corner of my kitchen counter. So um, I'm gonna show you how I have mine set up. It's it's not completely done, but I think it looks cute enough. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. And I'd love for you to uh, hit the thumbs up button as well as that little bell to be notified every single time I download a video. So let's get going and let's look at this amazing, fun coffee bar. Okay, for this year, this is the first thing I have for a coffee bar. I have a very big house. However, in my house, I do not have an area for a coffee bar, per se. So I had to put it in the corner of my kitchen, which is where I have all my coffee set up anyway. So I just wanted to share this with you and show you kind of what I did. And then I'd love if you would comment and give me some suggestions on things that you think I could change or dress it up a little bit, make it a little bit different. I would love that because I have a hard time thinking about <laughs> that stuff. And so um, I'd love any opinions you guys have. So we'll just kind of start over here. Don't look at the printer with the messy stuff behind it. I'm still in the middle of getting rid of stuff. Uh, that is my just my everyday sign that you can change the words on. I've had that up though for a while, just because those are kind of key words. Um, this is my daughter's snacks basically for school after school. So it's like her gummies and neutral grain bars and stuff like that. Um, I have my Ray Dunn lookalike coffee side. No, I did not make that. I got that at Marshall's. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I could paint this wood box that has the chalkboard signs on it. I haven't done that yet. That was actually something I bought on clearance a long time ago and didn't know what to do with it. So I added it here. I've got my vanilla syrup, my caramel syrup. I have some mocha syrup. And then that little jar in the back is matcha green tea powder. I also have my pumpkin spice syrup that I got. I believe I got that at Marshall's. Uh, I'll move my coffee here. This little sign, this kind of covers my uh, my Ninja Blender in the back and um, my little thankful plate that you can put cookies or snacks on. Um, I actually make a protein shake every morning, so I leave my Ninja Blender out. Um, this is my CBD coffee cup and I have my CBD coffee packets in here and also some keto creamer. So I'm not on the keto diet. I just thought I would try these out. Um, so I have those set there so I can make those. I also add those to my smoothies in the morning sometimes, just depending on what kind of mood I'm in. So those are there. Um, I have my Comfort and Joy cup that I got at the Dollar Tree. I only saw it one time. I'm glad I grabbed it. And then guess what? I dropped it and broke the, the um, handle off so I had to fix it. Um, my little marshmallow jar, I have not decorated that yet, but I wanted to get this video done. So it will probably go like that as soon as I get my marshmallow stickers in the mail and I'll paint that lid. So for right now, it's covering up my everyday um, hydrating drink that I drink. Uh, that's the sugar that my husband uses. Uh, I'm not a big sugar person, but that's our sugar container. This is my tier tray and I change it up for every season. So this is kind of what I've done for the Christmas season. I've got my Ray Dunn sugar and creamer. This is my Ray Dunn look like pinch. I'm not quite sure what to put in there. What's your idea for that? Uh, my little red cups. I've got just like, this was a leftover peppermint mocha uh, Starbucks thing. I put that there. Uh, here is the rest of it. Another red cup from the Dollar Tree, another Ray Dunn cup, and then these are my protein shakes that I drink every morning. I just have those there. In the back, you see a little jar. It's a Bath and Body Works jar that I repurposed, and it's got like my stevia in it. And then you go down here, and you've got my little everyday enjoy the little signs, the little things in life, not the little signs. <laughs> my Ray Dunn coffee cup. This is a very old Starbucks cup that I have. Uh, that has Christmas on it. So I I just put that out with it. I've got some chocolate covered coffee beans in the back and just another cup. Uh, my Ray Dunn coffee container that I'm getting ready to put all my um, coffee grounds in because we just got this new coffee pot. 
My husband is a coffee-aholic, and so he drinks a lot of pods every day. And after a few years of it, I've decided we need a coffee pot so he can make one big pot and then just use the Keurig side for when he just is like desperate for a cup of coffee. So we just got that. So we have our little Keurig pods pretty full right now. Um, I have a whole new box right there to add and then that's our ground coffee that I'm going to put in. That's my Java, my coffee sign. And then up here, I got the sleigh rides at the Target Dollar Spot. I thought it was super cute. And then my dashing through the snow, uh, what is that called? Well, you know what I mean, pot holder um, or mitt that I got at the Dollar Tree. This is another sleigh ride uh, sign that I got at the Dollar Spot. This is my peppermint and hot cocoa jars that I made. Um, these were inspired by Shannon, uh, the uh, Daily DIYer. She made these and I thought they were super, super adorable. I think her said marshmallows on it, but I did not have the marshmallow. I don't have the marshmallow sticker yet. So I went ahead and did peppermint. Um, this is from the Dollar Spot last year. It's a chalkboard sign and it's a coffee cup. I grabbed that last year. So there we go. And then one more, I have my hot cocoa sign. I actually got that at the Target Dollar Spot last year. And then I just have my little corner stuff up here. Yes, I need to dust. Uh, it's the You've Got This Raydun cup. And then I've got Scoop in the behind the reindeer tree. I have a tea uh, holder. And then my Happy Holidays that I got at Michael's. And then my little bistro and my coffee sign. I'm thinking maybe I should paint white because of my paint color on my walls behind that so you can actually read what it says. So what's your opinion? Leave a comment and let me know. And then at the very top, wake up and smell the coffee. So this is my little corner spot. It's my version of a coffee bar. This is actually set up every day for us this way, um, except for the, the Christmas decor because we are massive coffee drinkers. And I just have slowly put this together. So eventually I hope to have a regular coffee bar. We are redoing a piece of furniture that I uh, got off of someone. Um, I did a trade for hair for this piece of furniture and we're redoing it. It's made out of barn wood. So I'm hoping to make that into my new coffee bar. But for now, this will do. And um, I just wanted to share this with you guys. So. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't look at that mess over there. <laughs> yes, I have some messes in the back. Let's just leave it right there. How about that? It shows you how cute it is. I, I'm in the middle of crafting and everything, so there's a lot of stuff going on, but I did want to share this with you guys. Anyway, um, leave your comments below, and I hope you give me a thumbs up. Until next video, next time, thank you, everyone. Happy holidays, and God bless. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope everyone's having a good holiday season and I will continue to download as many videos as possible. I'm on a very short time span with my job. So um, I'll keep downloading as much as I can and thank you again for all your support.